Today I'm introducing two purchases I made for living mostly away from the house over the summer. This is the breathing mobile washer and this is Turtle the robot weeder. I'm Charlie Hudson and you are watching Reandertal. So here is the mobile washer. So here's the handle and it breaks into three sections. It's pretty cheap seeming, but I thought it would be better than the plastic handles that some of the similar offerings on Amazon had. The bottom is plastic and it screws together. Let's see this so you could replace the handle with just a regular uh, mop handle that's another benefit I like standardized things you can see our neighbors chickens in the background so one section mop handle and this all screws together so there's a bit of play in the collapsible handle, um, but you could replace it with a mop handle. Um, and the collapsible handle does have the benefit of being collapsible. So we'll see how that works. One of the things I like about the breathing mobile washer is that we can use it in a variety of places. We can use it in a five gallon bucket and we should be able to use the breathing mobile washer in the bathtub for things that are too big or bulky for our washing machine. Comforters maybe, or maybe rugs. So here's turtle on the top, solar panel, single button, nice handle here. It's got four wheels that are super cambered and the action these wheels have on the ground is part of what keeps the weeds down. It also has this tiny little whacker. The one, one, of, the one thing I'm not psyched about on this turtle is having to spend on little whacker blades. So here you can see our garden partly put to bed for the winter. We've got a hoop house on the left side and a cold frame on the right. Kind of worse for wear from the winter. And we do have some kale and some misena growing in there. The voles hit us pretty hard last fall, so we didn't grow all of the overwintering crops we were hoping to. This area in the back is where we're going to put the turtle first. I'm going to stake up those boards around to create a barrier to keep turtle in. And I'm going to have to weed that out and, and level it off. You can see the garlic here is starting to come up. There's some grass there as well. And you can see how the chickens have scratched away some of this mulch. So we'll have to remulch this area. But the slugs don't bother the garlic too much, so we don't worry about mulching the garlic heavily. But things like brassicas, cabbage, and kohlrabi, the slugs hit those really hard. So we're going to try using the turtle to keep this area weed-free rather than mulching. So you can see we'll have to bring the shovel out here and do some some digging and turning over. The turtle was invented by the guy who invented the Roomba and like the Roomba it does things autonomously but it does need the ground prepared for it. I bought a Roomba the year it came out for my mom and we found that we just couldn't use it at our house because of the tassels on the rug. It was just more of a pain to prepare the rugs for the Roomba than it was to go ahead and vacuum. So we really never ended up using that Roomba. So we'll see if the ground prep that we have to do for turtle is worth the weeding benefit that we'll get this year. I'm hopeful. My wife is very skeptical. And we'll see. I should have a couple more videos out shortly about putting these things to use for the first time 
and then our summer is going to get super busy. So I don't expect to be posting a lot of videos over the summer, but I do plan to put out some videos at the end of the summer once we've put these things through their full paces and see how things shake out. So whether it's good, bad, ugly, or mixed, expect some more videos at the end of the summer covering our full impressions of Turtle and the Washer. Stay tuned.